tremendous tragedy for our city. Ten years ago today, tragedy hit Madison when a UW student was killed in her home just blocks from campus and downtown. That brazen crime is still unsolved. Tonight, Jennifer Cleasy sits down with Brittany Zimmerman's parents as they cope with a decade of not knowing what happened to their daughter. There ain't a day that goes by that you don't think about her. A lifetime of memories. Let me see what this one is. Of a beloved daughter who had a lifetime ahead of her. These are probably some of the last pictures that we have of her. The last of Britney's smiles Kevin and Jean Zimmerman will ever see. This was actually probably when she was born. This is when I had Harriet. Yeah, yes, it is, yeah. That's her and her little brother. That's Matthew. Memories are all the Marshfield couple has left 10 years after their 21-year-old daughter was taken from them. They called and they told us. Then the roof came off. It really rocked everybody's comfort zone. On April 2nd, 2008, Brittany Zimmerman was stabbed and strangled in her home on Doty Street in the middle of the day. Her killer has never been found. This is a crime against the community, a crime against our collective safety, and a crime against our psyche. How could this have ever happened, you know? How could this have ever happened? The Zimmermans had hope early on. We honestly thought within days they kept telling us, you know, things are looking really good. Now you're sitting back and thinking all these years wasted and this person's getting farther and farther away. Police never sent to respond to Zimmerman's 911 call where she's heard screaming for help. A dispatcher's inaccurate information wasted days of investigators' time. Unusable, possibly tainted evidence, all devastating setbacks over the years. We've been beat down so many times, you almost feel like a whipping post. There were roadblocks throughout all of this, and as a result, we've been sort of stuck ever since. A DNA match discovered in the past two years led investigators to David Call, who was considered a witness in the days after Zimmerman's murder. But Chief Mike Koval says it wasn't enough for the district attorney to file charges. Is David Call considered a suspect? Well, I think some in the community identify him as such. But it, the fact of the matter is, is that I can call no one a suspect unless I have the legal burden of proof that's been met. Do you believe it's David Call? I believe he had something to do with it, yes. There's no reason why his DNA would have been on her sweater. In 2016, Call told 27 News reporter Tony Galley it wasn't him. I did not murder that girl. Now, as they move forward, police are focusing on new leads gathered in the past six months after reorganizing the investigative team. We don't think that we're done here, and that's why it hasn't been relegated to a cold case at this point. Despite some false leads over the years, DNA evidence from the crime scene inside this house 10 years ago may still be the answer to solving this crime. Police have recently resubmitted evidence to the state crime lab for another look. Who knows where that breakthrough, scientific or otherwise, would come, and we owe it to them. Uh, justice delayed is still better than justice denied. But the Zimmermans can't wait any longer. We're, of course, hopeful. You have to have hope. Um, but if, if nothing comes of this, then we need to look outside the Madison Police Department. If the new testing doesn't bring a tangible lead, they want an outside investigator on the case. It's time to get some new eyes, new faces on there. To finally bring answers. We have to just keep pushing. About their daughter's final days. It's all about justice for Brittany. Jennifer Cleasy, 27 News. The Zimmermans and Madison police are pleading for information from anyone who knows something about Brittany's death or someone who may have been in the area when it happened. Even the smallest details could help. There is still a $40,000 reward in the investigation. Contact Madison Area Crime Stoppers to report tips.